Back up motor techniques, yeah? Oh, you know the drill. Yamaha, uh, Motor Guzzi, Paggio, Prilia, all that lot. But what am I on today? Oh, look at this. Hi, Yamaha 700, Tenere, World Raid. Oh, it's marvellous. I can't tell you how tall it is. Oh, I can. It's 890. Look at, oh, look at that clock. Looks like a phone. That's marvellous. Oh, listen to that. It's running it a little bit. It's very cold on a baking day. I'm absolutely melting. So I'm going to get going. All right, let's get going. Oh, quite sharp. I like that. So, oh, I've got to get through the petrol station first. You probably know that already. Pretty smooth. Now, it's only a 700 engine, only 75 brake horsepower, or thereabouts. I don't know, because they do it in kilowatts or whatever. Um, uh, don't know much about it at all, but as soon as the road clears, I'll get out of here. Quite a nice burble coming from the exhaust. Let's wait and see, there's a bike coming here. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, no quick shifter, anything like that. Um, the screen's not adjustable, so I'll be interested to see what effect that has on the mic and on um, my helmet, on the buffeting. Uh, everything looks pretty intuitive. Because there's not a huge amount on it, it's got... What it has got is uh, three mode ABS, yeah. So you can have um, ABS off, ABS on, and the back wheel off, yeah. Now, this is a little bit heavier than the standard one, but it's got a lot more on it. It's got twin filler caps, um, <clears throat> which they reckon gives it a range. Oh, I haven't, that needs adjusting. Um, gives it a range of about uh, 500 kilometres, which I reckon is about 350 miles, don't know, but I tell you what, I'm doing 60 miles per hour and it feels like 30, yeah, because you're so tall, I reckon, that's what it is, um, but what I'm going to do, because it's quite a bumpy road, I want to test, I mean this is you know, go across the world on it if you want, go across deserts, rallying, all that lot. Uh, I know there's a rosa down here, that's why I'm being cautious if you're wondering. Um, uh, yeah, but can it do the Suffolk roads? Because they're not fantastic, they are sort of on a par with uh, so many underdeveloped worlds or developing worlds so I don't know what you call them now oh look at that Rosa yeah speed camera let's get down marvelous yeah oh I bet he's cooking in there I hope he's got air conditioning yeah <laughs> marvelous so brakes there absolutely fine very controllable I would say and that's even without switching them off or anything you know just going with it um the clock let's go back to the clock because I said like I said it's like a phone not like an iPad or a Game Boy it's like a phone a big phone uh, round round rev counter speed underneath um indicators dead straightforward I really quite like this bike I do and um yeah I do I'd be very tempted to this is one bike I would like to show Mrs Tame <laughs> yeah that's odd isn't it I've only been on it two minutes um, uh, bars feel wide but 
Oh, they're not that wide. Seat height, 890 millimetres though. Um, anyway, anvil mirrors, yeah, are, they're absolutely some of the best I've seen out of, yeah. Notable, oh, especially the right hand mirror, yeah. Oh, it's just great. Oh, 33 miles an hour, slow down. So that's clearly out a little bit because that was reading like 35 when that said 33. I don't know when it is taking the reading from though, but we're going down there. Balance is just incredible. I don't know if it's because you're so tall. bit slow to turn in there you have to get the angle in there but it's gonna be um, very tiny little narrow wheel but what we're gonna do we're gonna go up here because this is a bumpy old road out of the way it's pigeon oh pigeons in the way always the way uh, but here we go yeah, this is bumpy. How does it deal with this lot? I quite like it. Oh, it's such a commanding position. Over these bumps, they're nothing. It turns it into like a dual carriageway. It's just marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. There's so much dust about. I'm afraid it's going to get covered in dust. In fact, I'm going to have to give you a wipe because you might be blathered in it yourself. Yeah. Yep, yeah, very impressed. Up that hill, through the dust, in the... Uh, uh, over the bumps. Probably thinks it's gone to Africa. Um, what else has it got on there? Coolant temperature, 82 uh, mileage, it says only done 386 miles. Fuel, water temperature gauge, um, just marvellous. But we'll get off here and do the walk round quite early on, yeah. Uh, let's get here because it's a marvellous view. Oh, it is so tall. Indicator off. Don't know if they're self cancelling. Probably not. And over we go. Leg over. Oh, there we go. It's a big baby. You wait till you see it. It's just incredible. There we go. Look at that. Uh, Yamaha Tenere 700 world raid yeah marvellous let's get the other camera out right here we are look at this Tenere 700 in black yeah uh, world raid version yeah twin discs on the front Brembo's of course uh, spoke wheels are going to be tubed aren't they yeah uh, KYB upside down telescopic forks look at the length of them what a beast um uh, that lovely sound comes from that exhaust. Uh, I mean, it's an adventure style bike, that sort of work. So it's, is it? I, I don't know what it is. It's beyond that. It's beyond adventure, I reckon. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, this screen, non adjustable. Yeah, don't care. Uh, and it works fine. It's bizarre. Um, and no buffeting, so I can't really complain about it. Uh, hand guards, uh, that long seat that's all one, all the way up the tank, <laughs> seriously comfy, I can tell you that. Disc on the rear, um, comes with chunky tyres. And if you look at this sort of fairing affair going on, um, uh, it's sort of like camouflage, it's not just black. I mean, this one is absolutely covered in dust. <laughs> I told you, I can't help it. Um, 
it's sort of like camouflage black it's sort of gray silver black yeah i don't know if you can you'll you'll see that on the camera um engine sort of goldy color to do it in like a blue oh and it's marvelous um yeah seat looks rear seat looks fairly comfy stuff on there for either bungee cords or is that for um putting uh panniers on i don't know um very long chain there yeah uh dead simple controls yeah don't need a lot it hasn't got a lot doesn't need a lot less to break down when you're going sort of transcontinental <laughs> yeah um the mirrors look small but they're absolutely fine they work so well um what that's about all i can say about it really um it only weighs 220 kilos yeah 20 kilos less than a super meteor i know <laughs> it's bonkers isn't it um but anyway let's get going back on the road and uh yeah we'll mutter some more about it do the census test even right here we are back on board yeah oh it's such a tall baby i mean look at that two filler caps can i say that tank yeah 23 liters that holds yeah incredible they reckon it's something like about 80 miles to the gallon something like that oh look at that quite lazy on the start usb there um turning your baby uh, abs through its cycles there whether you want it on or off stuff like that um steering damper all in steering damper there i could have done with that on uh, the tiger when i went off road yeah but anyway let's get going it sounds marvelous i've got to be honest uh, and price wise 11,000 oh 11,000 quid something like that maybe a bit more maybe 11.9 but we'll get up here um, I think it's described as a long haul adventure bike yeah uh, I left the indicator then to see if it turned off it didn't I'll try it again on the next one Um, but of course most people won't use it for dirt tracks and all the stuff that it's fully capable of um, it'll be for commuting and things like that yeah um, so what's it like just on the road, just riding? Well, so far I've found it absolutely marvellous. I think it's got about 60, 60 or 70 newton metres of torque. So it's quite punchy. Yeah. Um, humpback bridge here. I wonder how it'll deal with that. I will, I'm not going crazy. Oh, never quite took off. It wasn't far off. Um, uh, but yeah I'm very happy with it uh, handling on the road the front fit because of the narrow little front wheel it feels like it's a bit slow and you think it's not going to go around but it does absolutely fine um, and the brakes uh, I've had better but they're okay yeah they're okay yeah the brakes uh, not bad not bad at all it feels like a roughy tufty bike for a roughy tufty world that's what it feels like and I could see that you could 
really go off for an adventure on it. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do though, um, I'm going to go down onto the A14 into the so you can see the roadworks, see what chaos we're dealing with at the moment and why there's so much traffic. It's just lovely down here, isn't it? Um, yeah, and I guess we need to get on to uh, the senses. What does it taste like? Well, do you know what? Oh, I know we've used it before, but I reckon this is definitely a blackjack. Yeah, you know that sort of aniseedy, licorice flavour. Oh, marvellous. Let's get down this hill. Um, see if there's any cars coming. Uh, yeah, so that's what it tastes like, which is very nice, isn't it? I don't know if you like blackjacks, make your tongue go black, do you remember that? Oh, it's marvellous. Um, and then, oh no. We've got to do um, smell. What does it smell like? It smells like a new bike. Yeah, no oil leaks, no hot water or anything like that. Um, just seems lovely. Yeah. So what I'll do is, I'll go down this way. I hope I've got enough battery life to do this. So what I might do is just switch you off here until we get down to the A14. Yeah, marvellous. So I'll bring you back shortly. So here we go, heading down to the A14. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, oh, he's going to get some speed up there. Yeah, marvellous. Um, I've got my visor open, so if it's a bit windy, I, I'm sorry. Um, but what I will say is, just coming to, uh, through the villages and stuff, the clutch is pretty light, gearbox dead easy, in and out, through the gears, um, and the throttle isn't jerky. It's nice and smooth, that fuel delivery is just, just nice. But here we go, onto the A14. Yeah, look at that. Marvellous, what do you reckon? So, it's not even peak time yet. Marvellous, isn't it? And now everyone's disappearing off the A14, onto the back roads that are already destroyed with potholes <laughs> I know um, and that's why we actually need bikes like this now just to ride around our own roads never mind going off for an adventure um, the state of our roads mean that every journey is an adventure so get down here Bye bye, A14. Yeah. Of course, we're getting um, with the dry weather, just dust everywhere. I mean, this road later on, you wait, you wait and have a look. You won't believe it. Oh, it does go well. The sea, I've been on it quite a while now, um, and the seat's still dead comfy. I could do a few hours, I reckon. Here we are, through the dusty old road. Um, some of it by lorries coming in and out of there but a lot of it by the quantity of traffic and the width of the traffic just eating away at the kerbs making the work road 
wider than it should be. Yeah. And down here we've got the rotters again. So what does it look like? I think you know it's beyond adventure bike. It's not an adventure bike. As they say, it's a long haul uh, bike. Yeah. And I quite like it for that. It looks different um, to a normal adventure bike. I've got a van here. He doesn't know that the rotters are up here and about. I might just let him go. Yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah, so to look at, I quite like it. I do. I know a lot of people will go, oh no, it looks like a rally bike. It looks just like a rally bike. Um, yeah. Uh, to touch and feel, feels a solid bike, nice shapes. This massive petrol tank oh, it gives it some real character. Um, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I uh, touch and feel. Oh, it's good quality. It feels quality, uh, and so that's reassuring, isn't it? And you know that people have done incredible things with them. Yeah. So from 5th at 30, just pulls up and away, dead easy. Um, then what have we got? A sound. Well, I've already said, I like the sound. Yeah, I think it sounds wonderful. Um, you know, it's not, it's not uh, a classic 500. But the noise is reassuring. A bit of vibration coming through the bars here at four and a half thousand revs. Um, but yeah, I like it. So the sixth sense, how does it make me feel? It makes me feel like I want to go on it and go to the Sahara with Freddie Dobbs. Yeah, that's what it makes me feel. He can go on his Bonneville and I'll go on this and we'll see who gets home first yeah that'd be marvellous wouldn't it but it's that time I've got to take it back do I want to take it back and this is the big question isn't it no I don't I could quite happily have this in my garage yeah this would be my uh, all weather all terrain vehicle definitely yeah, I could see it kitted out with camping gear and actually getting me out camping. And I could see Mrs. Tame being pretty comfortable on the back. But I don't know. So, you know, I make these assumptions and I'm sometimes surprised, particularly by Mrs. Tame. But as I say, I do have to take it back. And I'm just about there now. Um, so, yeah. I've thoroughly enjoyed the ride on it. Would I like to do it again? Yeah, I would. And it has been suggested that I do it back to back with the Aprilia equivalent. Yeah, yeah. That would be good fun, wasn't it? So, turning circle, turning is just like phenomenal. Uh, particularly when you consider that it, it weighs uh, 220 kilos and is her uh, seat height of 890 but here we are back at uh, Motor Technics Motorcycle Centre yeah marvellous let's turn it off uh, get the side stand down and have a look at it because it is quite a beast look at that what do you reckon it's marvellous, that's what I reckon, here at Motor Technics.